This has to be the command center. See if you can find out where Head is hiding. I'll scan for any uninvited guests. There's nothing about a location for Hedda's base, but it looks like we control the only communication tower. Then we bring Hedda to me. Blow this place to dust, cut off comms, and send up a flare she can't miss. Wait, we're in control of their communications. Let's use that. Hedda's people could already be on their way. If you have a plan, let's hear it. Otherwise, I'm taking this place out and setting off every alarm. Alarms? You have an idea? Maybe. You had a hunting dog, right? A strill, yeah. Why? I wonder if Hedda's people are up for a game of fetch. A false alarm. Send her fleet to chase empty space. You'd have to leave the comm center in one piece. I like messing with Hedda's toys, but I don't want to miss a chance to cripple her network. The fleet is our priority. When they're gone, there will be less resistance on our way to Hedda. Fine. Do it. Before I change my mind. Done. Now I'll cut all communication to those ships. Can't ever dogs being called back too soon. Wouldn't be able to if we blew the whole place up. Okay. Let's see if anything around here leads to Hedda. Sharp. Hedda isn't stupid. We need to get moving. Let's move out. Nothing so far. We might need to make more noise. Over here!
Nothing so far. See if you can find anything on that console. Well, well. Not who I was hoping to catch. I shouldn't be surprised. Sahar mentioned she ran into you. Your attempts to question her loyalty failed. There's nothing stronger than family. Mm, you look uncomfortable. At least I know Basque wasn't lying about the power of these sonic weapons. And hey, no hard feelings. I know there's a lot of drama between us, but that's all ancient history. But no Shay, I see. Anything to avoid her duties as Mandalore. No doubt she'll be along soon to face me. She'll stop you. She's welcome to try. Shay has always been a reluctant Mandalore, choosing to chase me rather than lead. The Mandalorians are scattered and uncertain. They could be an unstoppable force with the right leadership. And that's you? Shay's arrival was expected, but your involvement is a delicious wrinkle. You were doing so well slithering around like a jacar, and the ploy with my ships? <laughs> Clever. You understand subtlety. Impressive. You're not like most Jetty. I like you. So, do I use you as bait or cut your throat? I challenge you. Face me with honor, or show your followers what you truly are. Shay. Hedda. I accept. The standard trappings are right here and now. Anytime, anywhere. Runak is a dull place. Let's give my people a show. Take her. Bring him. Any problems in transport, it's your head, Darmanda. I should have killed this one when we had the chance. No profit in doing that. I'm sure the field marshal has some grand plan. She always does. You all right? You look terrible. 
Shay challenged Hedda to a duel. She's been taken. A duel? Oh, of course. Okay. Listen, you remember that weird droid signal we used earlier? A new one popped up on my scanners. Led me right here. I thought you sent it, but clearly not. Shay was leaving a trail to follow. This is Hedda's base. If those two are gonna fight, it's here. Understood. Thank you for your assistance. I didn't get a chance to scout much out before running into your friends here, but it's big. Looks like an old military installation. Maybe a missile silo? Shielded like nothing I've ever seen. Glad I had the tech at the relay station. Now that was a fight. I got lucky, but Akavi was in the middle of it. She fought like a rat ghoul, but she's in worse shape than she'll admit. I should have been there. I appreciate the thought. I really do. But we dealt with it. I'm a Mandalorian. We invented overcoming the odds. Oh, one more thing. I heard a lot of chatter at the relay station about a false alarm. That mean anything to you? Edda's ships are coming back. We don't have much time. Never do. We need to get a message to Jakaya and the fleet. Maybe he can leverage a tactical advantage if it comes to it. First things first. Right. Find Shay, shoot Hedda, and bring this whole place down. A few more of these should be a good start, right? Let's go. Explosive is set! Another one ready. Hey, keep an eye out for anything I can rig to send a message to Chikaya. is good to go. Hang on, let me check something. Okay, looks like I can get a message out to Jakaya through this, but it's gonna take some time. Down there is a service tunnel into the main area. It kills me, but I have to stay here and do this. Hedda's fleet can't be far away. Find Shay. I'm counting on you.
want to show you something. A weapon. One of the greatest ever created. It's been honed, tested, and delivered to devastating effect. On every one of us. The banner of Clan Kadera. Mandalore the Vindicated made us puppets of other powers. When the Kaderas resisted, he branded them traitors. My parents stood with them. For defending Mandalorian honor, they were slaughtered. This banner has been a symbol of shame for decades. A bloody reminder of what happens when you don't obey. Those who would keep us silent are the enemy. Are we not the greatest warriors in the galaxy? Are we not worthy of forging our own destiny? Then we must fight. First, by destroying our enemy's greatest weapon, our obedience. Then, by exposing their weakness. Shea Vizsla, come and face me! Gladly, Pretender. Something's wrong. Shay's in trouble.
You? Well, ain't this a kick to the shebs? What's going on here? I'm just making sure Hedda ends up on top. I got a lot riding on this. It took four of these babies to stop you. So, I figured if I use just one on Shea Vizsla, the odds get much better for me. <laughs> Hedda doesn't know about this, of course. Don't want to step on her precious honor. Shut it off. Wait, wait, wait! Hear me out! If Hedda wins, I get a huge payday! Huge! You let me finish this my way, and Armando walks away from Hedda's pointy horns and anything to do with the hidden chain. She loses our support. You understand me? Hey, hey, I'll even sweeten the deal. Darmanda supplies your side a fat discount on weapons, supplies, whatever, for the war. Wow. Hmm. And between you and me, she ain't looking too good. You might as well get something out of this. Walk away. And that is Hedda's fleet arriving. Let me guess. Your fleet? We're out of time. Leave right now and Darmanda drops out of this and backs your side instead. So, what's it gonna be? This will be a fair fight. No matter the cost. Thought you were smarter than this. Only an idiot passes up a sure thing. This is about honor. You wouldn't understand. Just cost me a lot of credits. I can live with that.
chance to kill you.
They're retreating. Do not pursue. I repeat, do not pursue. What about Hedda's fleet? We used that storm to launch an ambush of our own. It wasn't pretty, but it put them on the run. Mandalore, can you hear me? Jakaya? I'm right here. We're getting you out. Where is she? Hedda's gone. Hartuk! It's not over. We'll find her. You can bet on that. Just tell him, Ras. Tell me what? An old enemy has crawled out of the muck. Rakan. He's the one who singled me out during the fight. I swore I'd kill him the next time I saw him. What's the story there? Two years ago, Rakan was part of a group helping the imps on Belsavis. And they were good. Experienced, skilled, all that. The Republic hired their own team to stop them. Our... Our sister Layla was in charge. There were casualties, for both sides. The imp mission failed, but Rakan escaped. Layla didn't make it. Rakan blamed us, all of Clan Ordo, for his failure. We didn't understand why a mercenary took things so personally. It's clear now. He was part of Hedda Cole's inner circle. He's responsible for losing her best people on Belsavis. He failed her, not just the mission. My condolences. I didn't know. Layla was a Mandalorian. She died as well as any warrior could ask, with a weapon in her hand and facing the enemy. I can see her, holding that old training blade she never got rid of, swearing a streak as they came at her. Grinning, eyes bright. Come. We should see how Mandalore fares. How's she doing? Her wounds are significant, but she is recovering. You should talk with her. I'm fine, Jakaya. This new implant will take some getting used to, but I don't need a nursemaid. That's for the best. None would put up with you as a patient, Great Mandalore. All of those battles have loosened your brain, as well as your tongue, wise arbiter. Ah, uh, sorry to interrupt. We got nothing. After Hedda's fleet disengaged, they jumped. Could be anywhere. Did we find anything at the base? Not much. Those techs you ran into were happy to go through Hedda's systems, so we'll keep searching. Hard proof aside, it's clear that Rakan's sister, Sahar, is working with Hedda. And she has a Sith relic. That can't be good. Malgus wanted it, and now Hedda has it. I need to put her in the ground before this gets any worse. And now for some good news. Tales of your victory have traveled faster than the best smuggler ships. Not surprising. This is important. I absolutely agree. But, Mandalore, why did you stop me from mentioning Hedda's machine? It was clearly there for her to cheat. I don't believe she was behind it. Her reputation would suffer. If the machine was used on me, I wager it was shut down in time. Wouldn't you agree? I wanted a fair fight. A risky move, considering the wounds I had taken. My life or my honor. The choice was always clear, Shay. You think like a Mandalorian. The duel was always mine to win or lose. No excuses. Hedda Cole and her hidden chain will need more than that to tear the Mandalorians apart. The hunt continues. Nothing will stand in my way.
Moshe Vizsla proved more resourceful than I anticipated. She won. With all my plans, all my preparation, she still won. This was always a test, Field Marshal. One that you passed. A secret duel on a fringe planet. This won't be a secret for long. That only helps our cause. Win or lose, you stood your ground, and Shay needed a whole fleet to rescue her. Your movement, all of this, became real. Very real, yes. My base is gone, and Shay's victory salting my wounds. We must prepare for war, even as we retreat. I trust you will see us through. What do you propose? My sister has knowledge of a powerful new weapon. Rakan! What? Am I wrong? You hold the key. That was just between us. You promised to help me. I will. There is nothing more important to me. But this weapon, it's too dangerous. Then people with honor should control it. We both know the cost of being powerless. A weapon? Is this true, Sahar? Yes. Darth Malgus himself has his eye on it. Intriguing. Rikan, make sure no one interrupts us. <laughs> 